Here we go. Uh, short video on finding your disciplines. <laughs> Here's what I mean by that. Uh, there's lots of things I like. Lots of things I like doing. Say, watching movies, writing, looking at this YouTube, music. There's a lot. Uh, crafts in general. There's a lot of these disciplines. Sometimes you get too many disciplines going and you can't keep track of them and you realize you don't actually have that much time to put into each discipline to make it uh, a, a work that you could say, I did this well. We'll use the example. Did a lot of Photoshop stuff. So, did a lot of Photoshop work and uh, design stuff and in, in, uh, some schooling. And I uh, thought maybe go somewhere with that, do, uh, do uh, graphics for movies or graphics in general. That well didn't pan out much, but, uh, but it did lead to me um, knowing a little bit about Photoshop and being able to... Uh, do stuff to photos, so that got me a little bit into photography, and I uh, found I really enjoyed that, and enjoyed it much more than um, uh, doing the 3D graphics and things like that. So, I went in for one discipline, but ended up finding a new one, and then I kind of had to definitely lay back on the, uh, the graphic part, and I've mostly, mostly forgotten it. So that discipline is, I would have to go back and do some more schooling to get that back up. So I've, I've chosen to let that discipline go away and let others take it and give it more of the proper time it needs. Another thing was like, uh, I, I played a lot of video games. I really liked video games. I still do, but I don't play them much anymore. And like, so maybe I thought, hmm, maybe I do something with video games, but... That was a quick one that came and went, and I realized, no, I'll let somebody else dedicate their time to make good video games. And um, I've come to realize that it's hard to keep up all the disciplines you would want to. So you just got to be, uh, be choosy. Stick to a couple, or stick to one, as many as you think you can, while keeping the integrity of your project and making it a good work of art. Uh, there we go.